What's up, you guys? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Thanks for the subscribers, yay! Um, so I got some new products from Avon, so I just want to review them, share with you my thoughts. The products I got were the Avon Bronzing Pearls, then the main reason I even started a cart on the Avon site was because of this little guy. It is a eye an eyebrow tattoo pen, one of those ones with little teeth. So, you know, had to try that. I needed a new mascara, so thought I'd get one of those. And also, I wanted to get a blush, so I bought the Color Trend blush in whatever shade it was. I'm disappointed in the size of the blush, it's tiny. I expected more for 65 Rand, but that being said, it is what it is. It is what it is and I will make do. So I've already done the basics on my face, don't want to waste your time with that. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the Mark Brow Tattoo Micro Styler. Looks pretty cool, pretty swish. The shade I went for was Deep Brown. It was the darkest shade they had. For me I still think it's a little bit too brown. Let's have a look what it looks like. I have no idea how to use this, so... Mm. It's very brown. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm holding this at the right angle. <laughs> Let's try that. Yeah, it's definitely not my colour. Very, very, very reddish brown. Which I suppose goes with my new hair colour, but not with the rest of my eyebrows. It's one of the things about buying stuff online or from an online brochure you can never really test the shade. This seems to also be getting very easily dirty from the tiny little bit of makeup that is obviously on my skin there already. Not thrilled about that. Okay, also this is my first time using one of these, so it's not incredibly professionally done, obviously, but... Mm. Not mad keen. Honestly thought I'd be more keen on this thing. Live and learn. From a distance it doesn't look terrible. Also, I think it'll take me a while to get used to the technique. If anyone has any tips, you know, let me know. <laughs> Seems like it's lost its definition on the other eye. It just looks like a normal eyebrow pencil. After doing the full brow on it doesn't look too bad, but you can definitely see the difference between my normal eyebrows and this pen, which makes it look like I have gaps in my eyebrows, instead of make it look more natural, <laughs> which is what I was hoping for. Oh well, that's it. Let's move on to the next item. So here we go. I took the warm glow shade in these. You can see that like all different shades. Very pretty and smells amazing. Like sheer butter and not sheer butter the bread, like sheer butter. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, yeah, like that and some kind of nice perfume. It smells good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with a fluffy brush. I'll rub that in there and see. Oh, okay. The balls do get stuck <laughs> in the brush if you press too hard. So. Let's see. Mm, okay. That's quite dark. That's good. May have put a little bit much on. Oh well. Okay, I need to blend that out a bit. It's very dark on the one cheek. But yeah, 
That's pretty cool. It smells so good. It smells amazing. Don't know how girls do makeup with their hair down. Because even with my hair up, I feel like it's just interfering. Okay. I think I've got quite enough product, so let's just spend some time blending it up now. Because it looks quite dramatic <laughs> right now. I like it. I think I've just got to learn some <laughs> balance. I almost want to just put this over my whole face so it looks like I haven't been sitting indoors for 50 days. I feel like the different tones in it, having the different colours, it makes for quite a natural look and a lot of depth to it. Hmm, very happy with this. Very, very, very happy with it. I'm just going to smell this every morning to make me feel better. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So yeah, definitely like these. What do you think? Okay, next let's do the blush. So this is how small it is. <laughs> it's tiny. Um, if I wanted a really, really small blush, I'd go and buy something from Essence for like 20 bucks. Wouldn't buy an Avon 65 brand product. But anyway, maybe it'll last really long, maybe it'll surprise me, maybe it'll just be like, you know, the best product ever. So let's just get a little bit on there. Start very light. Learn from the previous product. Really dust off the excess on there. I think it's a nice shade. Not too pink. Not too red. Also very natural looking. Not bad. Not bad at all. So scared of putting too much on. I don't want to look like I live in Pretoria. No offense to everyone from Pretoria, but yeah. Well, let me say I don't want to look like I live in Primoz because at least that's my hometown, so I can diss it and get away with it. This is very strong. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I suppose it will last a while because I'll use very, very little of it. And, it, you know, didn't make a huge dent. I can't, I can't see the bottom yet, so that's good. It isn't that little. Right, so the last step. Let's use the Mark Big Extreme Volume and Length Mascara. I've always liked... Avon's mascaras because they have a lot of different types to select from, a lot of different brush heads and also they tend to last really well. I think this one was waterproof, I don't remember, but I've also always been a fan of their waterproof mascaras. They work well. That works. Ooh. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, that's got a nice texture to it. Yeah, I have gotten a dot over there, but otherwise, I'm really impressed with this. I like it. I can't remember if it's waterproof, but it's not drying like a waterproof mascara, so maybe it's not. Hard to remember. And this is why I'll never put on false eyelashes. It's ridiculous enough with <laughs> just a mascara. Okay, so definitely big and extreme as the name says so that's good yeah I dig it but I knew that I've always liked Avon's mascaras as I said so yeah hey okay, final thoughts just to recap really because I don't have any extra thoughts not a huge fan of this I'll see if maybe somebody else wants it <laughs> with a shade of eyebrow that is closer to to this brown. I've always struggled with finding um, the right kind of color for my eyebrows. So very dark brown but black is too dark. I remember the one time when I used something black my brother said it looked like I had drawn them on with 
crayon so yeah it's a tough fine line to walk these are amazing love this love 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 this love the look very LA I don't know what to say it looks like I've just come off a beach blush tiny but good and mascara good oh that's all um I don't know how to finish our YouTube video, so bye.